So here it is, my 15 foot river rat skiff made by Ugly Boat Company. It's pretty much the way it came except for I did find a newer engine. I decided to get rid of the old 22 stroke and uh, go with the four stroke gas mileage and these little Tohatsu seem to be pretty reliable so give that a shot. Also a lot of the older two strokes they're not going to come with that right there which is tilt and trim. So this motor being a little newer that is uh, a good good part of it. Also it is fuel injected. Um, as of right now it's really just hung on there and uh, it all needs to be rigged. Obviously there's some uh, paint work that could uh, definitely be done but it is all very very solid. There's nothing in this boat that feels soft in any way, so let's get into it. The trailer, it's there, but uh, definitely could use some cleanup. The wires are trash, lights are trash, bunks are okay, but they're hideous. And the, the tires are, are good that they're a bigger size, so you can do a little bit longer highway ride, but also look at how wide of an axle, whoever the hell put on this trailer. I don't know if they just had it laying around or whatever, it'll work, but geez, I'm looking like a hillbilly for now. Some of the mods I'm gonna be doing to it are gonna be that iPilot trolling motor that every single boat needs. I'm gonna put the two batteries in here under the in that uh so i can access with that and i can also pull stuff out pretty easily here i'm gonna put a slide uh door there so i can use that space for the batteries here these are uh flow in flow out kind of live well deals here that i'll probably end up just using for storage i'm gonna run the uh the gas tank inside the console as well as the battery for uh, the engine. So uh, most of the the weight of my aftermarket stuff will be kind of towards the middle and front, kind of counterbalancing that engine sitting on the back and uh, me being about 180, 190 pounds, definitely could use some weight up front. Here's a couple of the uh, mods I'll be adding. So there's a uh, push pull mounting setup. Uh, I have a push pull up there I've had for a while that will be for this rig. I have a Garmin chart plotter. I don't do a lot of uh, bottom fishing or you know using the fish finder. I just got to use it kind of for a uh, GPS dot trail for knowing where to go when I'm out there. And then I have a more than what you need but that's what you should have is a big old bilge pump. I went with a 2,000 gallons per hour. Um, the last boat I had probably had a 600, 700 gallons per hour and it was nowhere near enough power to actually save your ass if something were to go wrong out there. So I always, uh, with the big one from now on after I experience what uh, the other one doesn't do. I mounted the GPS and the throttle. Now I'm going to try to put the fuel line to that hole out here.
Snooter and an ugly stick. That one, and then the next cast got the snook. <laughs> 